in here, me old house? 2402 Murphy was supposed to be Laura Tyler's new home. She planned to move in with her friend Teresa Long, May 22, 2011. This is your house? Tyler was walking to Long's house when she noticed the sky darkening, the wind picking up, and hail starting to litter the streets. Oh, holding on to a pole. After taking shelter on a stranger's porch for the duration of the storm, Tyler walked to Long's house, or what was left of it. It's gone. Long's house was in shambles, but the storm cost Tyler everything she owned. She had nothing when she got to my house that night. She had nothing. She and Tyler pitched a tent that first night. Tyler didn't know it at the time, but this tent would be her home for more than the next month. Can you imagine me trying to set this tent up by myself one day? <laughs> Long's sister lived in Sedalia. After a few weeks, the two friends decided to move there, leaving behind the only town they'd ever called home. Long moved in with her sister while Tyler built a home in a campground. Tyler lived in this tent beneath this tree on these campgrounds for almost a month. She didn't have a car and she needed to be close enough to town so that she could walk to fill out job applications. Jamie Bethel, the housing director for Sedalia, was distraught when she heard about a homeless woman living in the campgrounds, coming to town every day, desperate for work. I knew that if I did not find her, I would probably not sleep. Um, through the night. Bethel lined Tyler up with affordable government housing and disaster relief. Almost everything in her place was donated by someone in the community. She's a jewel. It seemed her luck turned all at once. The same day Tyler moved into her new place, she finally got a call from a local restaurant with a job offer to bus tables. She's very personable with the customers, the kids. She'll take a quarter out of her pocket and go get a kiddo, we have a little candy machine over there and get them little fish or little whatever they want out of the machine. But finding a home and a job can't cure the gaping hole Tyler feels in her life. I think about Joplin every day. Tyler admits she has a lot to be thankful for this holiday season, but says the gratitude can get weighed down. It sounds like there's no skills. We're okay and we're doing better and, and blah, blah, blah. You but are, it's, I ain't. But it's hard to feel, to feel good you know, to really feel good when you still feel so bad. About all the people that died, yeah. The guilt of a survivor, the last scar to heal. Caitlin Alexander, KOMU 8 News, Sedalia.